Lincoln Home present your favorite radio friend, Lum and Ab. Like so many families sitting down to a meal, you probably always sit in the same places. Mother at one end of the table, dad at the other, and the children in between. It's hard to believe that anything could happen to upset a happy-looking group like that. But often it does. A youngster who doesn't like milk refuses to drink it. And you know what follows. That's why I feel sure many of you will welcome a friendly suggestion for getting children to drink their quart of milk every day without scolding or coaxing. Simply give them Postum made with milk. Because Postum has such a grown-up looking color, such a fragrant aroma, and such a grand flavor that even youngsters who don't like plain milk will drink Postum made with milk willingly and eagerly. Serve it hot or ice. And you can let the children have all they want, for Postum contains no caffeine or any other stimulant that could possibly affect young digestive systems or cause sleeplessness or nervousness. Find out all the Postum from your grocer tomorrow and see how your youngster will relish the milk he needs when you give it to him in this delicious form. Postum made with milk. And now, let's see what's going on down in Pine Ridge. Well, I do know. 
And I just thought you was lazy. Well, there's lots of folks that think that, Brother uh, Abner. I ain't much of a fellow to work with my hands. Never was. I do uncommon a lot of brain work, though. What do you mean, brain work? Well, now, take yourself. You come down to the store here at 7 o'clock in the morning, and then at 6 o'clock, your work's over. Yeah, that's right, Jake. Yeah. Well, mine ain't. I keep right on working till 9 or 10 o'clock of the night. Thinking. Good. Well, no wonder you're so drowsy around here in the daytime, then. What are you thinking about all that time? Is there something on your conscience? No, it's that. I'm working on a device. You mean another one of your inventions, Jay? Well, this one will work. I know it will. Well, now, don't get another one like when you hook the windmill up to the sorghum press and tore it all to pieces. No. <laughs> Just a little smell, all right? Yeah. But this is a sure thing. Uh-huh. I know it is. Make us both enough money to where we'll never have to hit another day's work as long as we live. <laughs> well, you must have got this thing figured out years ago. <laughs> You ain't did a day's work, and I don't know when. No, sir, I just run on to this the other day when I was back there in the seat room. Well, now, I can tell you right now, I ain't going to put any money in it, so you might as well get that out of your head before you start. No, I ain't going to need no money. All I want you to do is let me borrow that old moving picture machine back there in the seat room and let me have plenty of time to think. Mm, this sounds like an excuse to get out of work to me. What's that moving picture machine got to do with it? Well, that's what gave me the idea for my invention. That's that. Well, now, Jake, if you're figuring on making moving pictures around here, it won't work. I'll tell you that right now. Me and Lom has done tried it. That's it. That's how come us with that old machine back there. It makes silent pictures. You've got to have these here uh, talking pictures nowadays or they won't bomb. No, not with what I've got figured out you don't have to. It's just what I need, that thing back there. Well, well, what is it? What is it, Tony? You got my two losses out now. Well, uh, Emma, there's uh, lots of people have trouble going to sleep of a night. You know that yourself. Yeah. If you're having trouble going to sleep of a night, Jake, it's because you sleep too much around the store here during the day. Tell you that. Well, I ain't inventing this for me now. We'll sell thousands of them. I know we will. Thousands of what? What are you talking about? Oh, well, people try different things to go to sleep, don't they? Yeah, yeah. Some of them try counting sheep. Yeah, yeah, I know it, but that never did work for me, though. Well, me neither. You must be one of these fellas that just ain't got no imagination about you. Must be. Can't count sheep because you can't picture them in your mind to count. Yeah, well, now, that might be. That sounds like reasoning, I guess. You yeah. can't count something you don't see, Abner. What in the world are you driving at? Well, now, here's what I've got in mind to do. You will let me borrow that moving picture camera back there. Oh, wait a minute there. I'm coming up out there. but I'll be talking about it in front of him. But I want to keep this idea secret like you just happen to on me. Oh, yeah, well, if he's going to stay on it. Wait a minute, wait a minute. He ain't coming in. Stop that talking that little Tommy C song. Go ahead. I, I'll tell you if he starts to come in here. Well, sir, now, here's what I've got in mind to do. I'm going out here to one of these farms where they got a lot of sheep and get them to let me take some moving pictures of them jumping over a fence. I still don't see what you're driving at. It's for them people that want to count sheep to go to sleep and can't visualize them in their mind. Now, here's what we can do. Get out a little the projection machine and a little film showing these sheep jumping a fence, and he'll sell them the whole outfit for so much money. Well, a fella set up and look at a picture like that, Jase, he'd go to sleep right there in a the chair. Well, now, that's the part that gives me so much trouble right there first. Yes, huh? I know it'd work, but I never know how to get around that. So this this morning I hit on it. Well, good. Good for you. I've got a little clamp figured out so a body can clamp that little projection right on the head of his bed and folks it on the ceiling and just lay there in bed and count them things for his just off the ceiling. Well, oh, doggy Dick, I believe that'll work just as sure as he was. Well, sure you down to, Brother Abner. We'll make a fortune out of it. Well, well here, uh, am I in on it too, Brother Jake? Yeah, I'm going to make you my half-partner. That's right. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Here comes one. We'll talk about that for you. <laughs> now, you go right on ahead and stay back there in the feed room just as long 
me do that? Oh, uh, what about them windows up there? It's why I said for me to wash them. I'll wash the windows. No, sir. You just get right on back in the feed room and study some more. Just keep thinking, Jay. All right. You better call me when it's getting time. I ain't got no clock back there. Yeah, all right. I'll call you. Don't worry about that now. Uh, come in, Long. Oh, well, howdy, Abner. He square around. No, no. Come on back and sit down. Yeah, uh, see, Jake's still hanging around. Oh, yeah. Bless his heart. <laughs> There's a fine fella. Brother Jake. I never knowed it before long, but he's a genius, that fella. Who, Jake? Yes, sir. He's got an invent studied up that outcaps anything I ever heard of. What kind of an invent did he study up? Why, he... Well, I can't tell you yet. It's a secret, but... Something to get out of work today. No, it ain't. Now, don't accuse him of that, Mom. That fella, he works hard all the time. Bless his heart. Bless his I wish he's my blood brother in quite a way. I'll tell you one thing, though. While you're over there in England getting that fortune over there, why, me and Jake's going to wake one ourselves right here in Pine Ridge. Mm, hope you do, uh, Hope you do. What, what were you talking so long with that little sea skunk boy about, huh? Both of you standing out there arguing and fussing with one another no, for 15 minutes. Nothing, man. Uh, Abner, I want to ask a favor and tell you. I know you and Squire ain't doing a credit business now, but... Uh, well, you know, I spent every cent of the money I had on my tickets and hotel reservations to Europe. I thought you said you weren't going when you found out that was a bicycle curve, Europe. Said you wouldn't ride no bicycles, you never got to see them. I've got to. I can't get out of it. But what I wanted to ask you, could you credit me for a dime's worth of candy every day from now till I get back from Europe? Uh, dime's worth of candy? Yeah, that'll be for a little over two months. Well, you won't even be here. How could you buy a dime's worth of candy every day? Oh, a little deal I just made with Tommy Seastrong. See, if I'm going to have to ride all over Europe this summer, I've got to have a bicycle, and I ain't got no money left to buy one with, so... Well, anyway, Tommy will be in here for the candy every day. Granny's these young'uns nowadays is hard to deal with. And Jake wouldn't have had to go to all that trouble with his sleep machine if he'd take our suggestion and switch to Colston. If you knew a man and his wife who are perfectly suited to each other and perfectly happy together, you'd find it pretty hard to believe that a small thing like a cup of coffee could ever come between them. Yet, listen to what this woman says. For several years, our friends used to call us the perfect couple. But then I began to notice that my husband didn't seem happy anymore. And one day I realized that he wasn't happy because I wasn't. Because gradually I've been getting more tense and jittery, at times downright irritable. Well, when I found out that coffee was causing it, you can be sure I lost no time in cutting it out and drinking potion instead. Now, when our friends call us the perfect couple, they're perfectly right. And that's something to remember, ladies and gentlemen. For although many people can drink coffee without becoming nervous, many others cannot. So if you think coffee is spraying your nerves... Why don't you switch to Postum, too? Because Postum does not contain caffeine or any other stimulant that could possibly upset your nervous system. And this rich, full-bodied, satisfying drink actually costs less than most mealtime drinks. Less than one half cent a cup. For your convenience, it comes in two forms. Postum cereal, the drink you make by boiling or percolating, and instant Postum made instantly in the cup. You'll find it will pay you in more ways than one to drink Postum regularly. Lou Crosby speaking. This is the Columbia Broadcasting System.